Hello, we're rolling. Welcome to Wednesday worship. I think so. Now I am. <clears throat> Hello, Courtney, Jason, and Chris, and Natasha. Nice to see you joining us on live worship tonight. Literally. Literally. Ha, ha, ha. Candle? If you're tuning in, grab a candle. We're going to be lighting them after the announcements. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. <laughs> Take her in. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Rich, see Rich Hinson is joining us. Hi, Katie. Tyler and I'm gonna say hi to Lindy and the boys too because I'm sure you're all watching <laughs> Buses. <laughs> oh, and Jim's on too. I always got to give the buses a warm welcome. They're super exciting people. I miss you. Is the is the dog <laughs> joining them tonight too? No, cat. Cat. You're right, cat. Cat. I wish I could see all the people that join. I know I can't see them, but I can only see like me. some of the people. We have 22 people. Are we ready? Too. This is why we. Huh? Oh. This is why we all have yeah. a mic. <laughs> but eight of us. <clears throat> Sorry, studio producer. It's time. Okay. Let's get the party started. <laughs> Rookie did tell the people to bring a candle. I think yes. we're all a little Grab stir a crazy here. But <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to our Wednesday night worship experience. Today we're worshiping as your favorite superhero. I forgot my. Lightsaber, Cordy, could you please? But don't you have careful. the force? Can't you just make it come to you? <laughs> Throw it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was 
So it's come as your favorite worship hero. Or worship hero. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're all laughing. It's only going to get us. better. Yep. Favorite superhero worship. So post your pictures of you and your as your favorite superhero. Um, I don't think they pop up on the live, but after we're done with our live service, the pictures do pop up. So please post those pictures. I'm going to introduce our superheroes because I thought some of you were creative, some of you weren't. <laughs> I'm She's offended. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So we have Jason, police officer, law enforcement, very, very good superhero. Brooke, would you like to explain your superhero costume? I am a teacher, at home teacher, because you guys are the real superheroes during all of this. That means a lot of moms out there are superheroes. I come forward. You gotta come to this side, John. Over this side? Six feet. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> I'm Woody. Yippee ki yay. Sheriff Woody. Because <laughs> I do right. <laughs> I take care of people. Chris. No toy left okay. behind. Well, I, I'm wearing, you know, I, I have a, trust me, I'm a superhero. Because as a mom <laughs> during this time period, and as like teacher multitasker, superhero. Superhero, totally. Court. I am a camp counselor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wanna be on top? I have no words. <laughs> Katie, which I thought this one was great. This one's awesome. You don't have a mic. I am a nurse because these guys are superheroes every single day along with police officers and teachers. Thank you. <laughs> and camp counselors. And camp counselors. <laughs> Thank you. So we appreciate all our superheroes, real, fake, or camp counselors. Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> you trust your children with us during the true. summer. That is true. <laughs> Actually, I was a and great I think camp counselor. I think Eric is a superhero. You can't see him, but he's our superhero behind the scenes. Eric, he is. Yeah, I wish I could put the camera on guy. you, but Eric is like multitasker, jack of all trades, tech superhero. So thank you, Eric. Too. Thank you, Eric. He is our superhero. Uh, None of this would be possible without Eric. Yeah, not to be honest. Yes, nothing would nothing would be possible without Eric. <laughs> All right, we will get our worship service started. Um, really, <laughs> same, um, we do, oh, that's the one. We want families and individu individuals are invited to have a candle and their communion ready. I also want to make a note, we still have communion kits. We do um, probably anticipate at least through the month of May doing virtual uh worship services online and live. So if you want to pick those communion kits up, um, just give one of us, call the office, text one of the pastors. We're kind of here in and out, um, so we'll be able to get you your own communion kit. All right. We will start singing every move I make. First, um, we're going to give a quick shout out to Devin, New York. Welcome to worship. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Stand up. <laughs> How can it be? How can it be? How can it be? How can it be? Na na 
I guess I know the next song is <laughs> Light the World. Yes, the next song is Light of the World. Pajamas, you could send us pictures, but no, we, no. Met, oops, we met that. superheroes. Oh. oh, you can go to the next slide. And oh, by the way, I love camp counselors, and you're supposed to do the beginning. Yes, I am. Okay. Alrighty. Without camp counselors, there'd be no camp Camp worship. music, that would be sad. This is true. Oh, boom. This is true. As we begin our worship tonight, I encourage you as a family to light your candle um, reminding us that in the midst of all of what is happening, the light of Christ brings us hope and will light our way despite the uncertainty that's before us. Now let us join in confession. Let us make our confession to God. We are we at are our best, best when we are growing, growing spiritually to be more like Jesus, but sometimes we forget to pray and fail to study your word. Forgive us, O oh God. We are, we are at our best when we are actively caring for one another. But sometimes we put our own needs and desires first. Forgive us, O oh God. We are at our best when we are welcoming and inviting of all people. But sometimes we close ourselves off. Forgive us, O oh God. We are at our best when we are actively caring for one another, but sometimes we put our own needs and desires first. Forgive us, O oh God. 
We are at our best when we are welcoming and inviting all people, but sometimes we close ourselves off. Forgive us, O oh God. We are at our best when we are giving generously to join in God's work, but sometimes we give in to fears of scarcity and hold on tight to what we have. Forgive us, O oh God. We are at our best when we are joyfully serving as Christ's hands and feet, but sometimes we serve begrudgingly or not at all. Forgive us, O oh God. We are at our best when we are living faithfully in daily life, but sometimes we leave faith at church and give God little thought during the rest of the week. Forgive us, O oh God. We know our purpose, loved by God, living out the love of Jesus, but sometimes we fall short. Forgive us, O oh God. By water and the Holy Spirit, God gives us a new birth. And through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God forgives us all our sins. Our shortcomings are covered, and we are again called to our purpose, loved by God, living out the love of Jesus. Almighty God, strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in eternal life. Amen. 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 Let us join in the prayer of the day. O oh God, oh God, your, your son, son makes, makes himself, himself known to all his disciples in the breaking of bread. Of bread. Open, Open the eyes of our faith that we may see him in his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The gospel reading this evening comes from Luke chapter 24, verse 13 through 35. The colorful story of Jesus' appearance to two disciples on the road to Emmaus answers the question of how Jesus is to be recognized among us. Here he is revealed through the scriptures and the breaking of the bread. Now on the same day when Jesus had appeared to Mary Magdalene, two disciples were going to the village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with him, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, what are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, what things? They replied, the things about Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem, redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb earlier this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, oh, how foolish are you, and how slow of heart to believe all the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer from things and then enter into his glory. Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things that himself and all, about himself and all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on, but they urged him strongly saying, stay with us because it is almost evening and the day is now nearly over. So he went to stay with them. 
When he, sat, when he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. Their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from, that, from their sight. They said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour, they got up and returned to, to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, the Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. They then told what had happened on the road and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. All right, well, uh, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a children's message. I need some walking music from the musicians over here. Our musician, Jason. So if there are some kids in the audience out there and at home, uh, come on over uh, and join me in the kids' area. All right, I am dressed up as Woody, and I feel really silly, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, I, I like this gospel reading. We've been playing with it and reading from it for the last week. Uh, the road to Emmaus, um, the journey, uh, taking a trip, um, finding that there's somebody along with you that you didn't even recognize. So it reminded me of this game, and I need everybody's help who's here to play this game with me. So are you all ready? ready. This is an old, this is a game that you're all familiar with, and you got to help me. So... Katie, peekaboo! <laughs> peekaboo! Chris, peekaboo! Peekaboo! So you can try this at home with someone there with you. I guess you could do it in front of a mirror if you're by yourself. That would work too. But Courtney, see, it's contagious. I think peekaboo! Peekaboo. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> I haven't done Brooke. Brooke. Yeah. Brooke. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> Natasha. Betsy <laughs> Natasha. Peekaboo. <sighs> Peekaboo. <laughs> I thought I felt silly before I did it. Eric. Eric, behind the sound system. Peekaboo. I see you right behind your screen. <laughs> okay, so that was really weird, but there's a sense a of joy. <laughs> now everybody's, it's contagious. There's this sense of joy as you play this game with each other. You have this sense of joy of seeing someone, and it's so simple, right? It's so silly, and it's so simple. Um, I think the, the disciples who were walking to Emmaus, they did not know it was Jesus, until something happened, and they realized it was Jesus, and it was one of those crazy moments that I couldn't, they couldn't really believe. Um, it was unbelievable joy. It was also astounding amazement that all of a sudden this person who was walking with them was Jesus, and he wasn't dead anymore. He was alive. And in this journey that we're all in, I'm looking for those moments. We're looking for these moments of joy when all of a sudden you're like laughing doubled over. Now, it might be a TikTok video that leads you in that way. Uh, it might be a funny thing that your kids are doing. It might have to do with animals like dogs and cats. I don't know what it is. But in that moment of discovery, you're finding out that this isn't as bad as maybe you had thought. And all of a sudden, you find that you're, you're finding yourself in some joy. So as we think about the times that we're in right now, it's a journey, right? All of us can relate to this is a journey, and we really don't know where it's going. Uh, we hope it's going back to something more familiar at some point, but maybe not yet. But in the middle of this journey, I want to be able to see some joy. And I want all of us to see some joy. Maybe it's when you put on a goofy hat uh, and you play peekaboo with people that didn't have any idea they were going to play peekaboo, um, which is okay. But I, I think that's the discovery that we're not alone in all of this and that God goes with us wherever we go. Um, if you are a kid and you're wondering what the heck 
where, where, why is things so crazy and changed? Um, they are, but there's also some really good things. I mean, you get to spend more time with people you really love. Um, you get to be safe in a home with your family. Um, and now, as I imagine, our numbers are way down right now for viewing. We're in the 30s, right? Right? Uh, where a couple weeks ago we were in the 90s, 112 if I remember right. Uh, and I imagine that's because people are outside, and it's beautiful outside. So enjoy the joy uh, of being outside. Enjoy the journey that we're on. Find the joy. Find the humor. Um, and play peekaboo because Christ is out there. And as we um, go out of our homes, as we go out of our places for a little bit, um, I want you to look for the face of Christ. Uh, he won't look like the Jesus we see in our books, but he will look like he will be the Christ who is the person who's in need. He will be the person who needs a laugh, who needs to play peekaboo for a moment and, and find some relief. Uh, it will be in that person that is struggling uh, at this time. For Christ is in each one of us, and when we play a little bit of peekaboo, we see that God is there with us, walking with us in the journey and keeping us going. Uh, so as you, uh, as you journey on your journey, as you journey on your journey, is that a way of saying things? As you journey this journey, uh, know that God goes before you, behind you, beside you, and with you and inside you. And may the peace of Christ be with you all and um, to infinity and beyond. Amen. Who has the clicker? I have the clicker. <laughs> so that was me. Now we're going to go on to the prayers of intercession with Pastor Natasha. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection. We join the people of God in all times and in all places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. For those whose hearts are fervent with love for your gospel, that they are empowered to tell the story of your love in their lives and show hospitality and joy in response to this love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the diverse natural world, for jungles, prairies, forests, valleys, mountains, and all for all the wild and endangered animals who call these spaces home, that they are nurtured and protected. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For broken sim systems we have inherited and that we continue to perpetuate, Forgive us. Restrain the nations from fighting over limited resources. Redeem us from the cycles of scarcity and violence. Lord, in your mercy. Your hear our prayer. For all who call upon your healing name, give rest. Stay with us and walk with all those who are hungry, friendless, despairing, and desiring healing in body and spirit. We especially, Lord, pray for... Jen Brossart, Corey Dixon, Julie Ford, Rick Owings, Mary Mitchell, Mort Pearson, Shelby Schmidt, Keith White, and Diane Thomas. And we ask for strength for our healthcare workers, our first responders, our government officials, our law enforcement, teachers, grocery store cash cashers, gas station clerks, and others who help keep our city running. Lord, in your mercy. In your prayer. For the ministry that continues to happen in this church, even though we are social distancing and our doors are closed for in-person worship, 
We lift up to you all our members, our councils, our leaders, our staff, our tech people, our volunteers, for continuing to reach out to others, to care for this community and beyond. Guide us with wisdom, knowledge, and compassion as we navigate reopening and envisioning what the new normal will look like. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Create in our hearts a yearning to rest in your promise for eternal and resurrected life. Give us thankful hearts for those who have died, even as we look forward to the hope of new life with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Spirit intercedes for us with sighs to to express oh the spirit intercedes for us with sighs to deep for words to express oh and as we continue to do ministry uh, we do ask that at this time it's very important that our offerings, our, our, your generosity is still with us. Um, if you are still able to offer your offerings, we have three ways of doing that online, the app, or in the mail. So we thank you for your generosity. Let us pray together our offertory prayer. Merciful, Merciful God. God. Our ordinary gifts seem small for such a celebration. May you make of them an abundance, just as you do with our lives. Feed us again at this table for service in your name, in the strength of the risen Christ. Amen. And if you would gather around your altar spaces, your at-home worship spaces, around the bread and wine of Christ. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people. Do this for the forgiveness of sins and for remembrance of me. As we are gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at this time, um, there are a few ways that you may uh, share in the meal. That is having just one person be designated to give to each uh, uh, to to all of you, <laughs> um, and or to sit in a circle and have each of you serve one another with the body of Christ and for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. At this time, as the people gathered here will commune together, um, the people at home by themselves uh, may commune as we commune here together. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Mm -hmm. 
And if you would please stand, if you're able to, or he would like to, receive the communion blessing. May the body and the blood of our precious Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to sing some Psalm 25. acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Holy God, speaking, spoken, and inspiring. Bless you, unbind you, and send you in love and peace. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. God.